It is currently the evening of the 15th of May 2021 here in the Indian Ocean and we have a rather potent cyclone on our hands continuing to intensify along the southwestern coast of India and here's the problem. This storm is going to continue to roll up the coast here <coughs> bringing rainfall even across Mumbai moving inland just towards the north along the India-Pakistan border. Flooding is going to be a big issue and even a storm surge threat because of those winds kind of wrapping around. So we see that eastern seaboard where these winds kind of come up. That's where you'd be looking at threat of a storm surge about two, maybe three meters high. Winds right now, though, 112, gusting to 138 kilometers per hour. Pressure is dropping as it moves towards the northwest slowly and intensifies. And this is something I like about JTWC. You can see kind of extrapolate these winds out as this pushes just towards the west of this rather large city. Mumbai, by the way, if you're unfamiliar with the coast of India, if you're watching from India, of course you know this. There's 21 million people that live here. This gets close enough, it definitely could cause some major problems in this metro area. Uh, winds likely could be sustained in, uh, as we go ahead <clears throat> over the next 48 hours with that 105, 105 knot sustained wind. But look at these, some of these gusts. That's, uh, that's potent up to 130 knots. 130 knot gusts is the equivalent of about a super typhoon uh, sustained wind. It kind of puts it in perspective that uh, not a weak system <coughs> in our forecast as this system moves ahead here towards the north and west. And unlike the JTWC forecast, what I was just showing you there from the Joint Typhoon Warning Center, I use them because I personally prefer them a lot more than the Indian Meteorological Department. I know they are the official warning agency for that area, but I think JTWC does a great job. But this is just going to be skirting the immediate coastline. Let's watch this move on through here as we go ahead through Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and eventually into Thursday, by right here, by the way. And the big problem, all of that rainfall as it skirts up here. You see those winds coming on shore. That's where we're going to be seeing that storm surge threat. If you live anywhere within uh, 50 to 100 kilometers of the coastline in this area, you got to be getting ready for the potential of a, a severe cyclone here with damaging winds. Flooding rains for sure, since this is moving so slow, and even that coastal storm surge as well. Not even mention as this goes further north, we could see kind of a funneling effect going up some of these bays here, which definitely could result in some storm surge pushing on through. Now, you might notice on the west side of this, there is drier wrapping in. So the bulk of the rain, the bulk of the rough weather, unfortunately, is where the land mass is. And then it kind of sh shuts off as it goes towards the west because of that dry air wrapping in. Hopefully that dry air wraps in enough that we might get a little bit of a relief. But I mean, over the next three days, uh, you can see some of these areas in Mumbai, look at that, 100, 150 millimeters of precipitation uh, in the forecast. So definitely some flooding rains out here. Here's the main points. Over 11 million people could see Cat 1 winds. Coastal flooding already has been seen in that coastal storm surge 3 to 4 meters potentially out here all right if you're new to this channel <coughs> please subscribe i try to post on cyclones from time to time it all just depends if uh enough of you ask for those updates uh, i try to do global tropics to be quite honest atlantic as well uh, check out the patreon and the link down below and if you want to check out westernpacificweather.com that'd be great but i think the big thing right now is just hit that subscribe button and uh also, stay safe out there. I mean, this is a, not a storm to mess around with at all if you are being impacted by it. As always, though, thanks for watching.